Hi there, I wanted to talk to you today about your human needs. You have them, you know you have needs, yet do you know what they are? And they're really the same for everyone. They're the basic human needs that we all attempt to meet through our behavior. So let me share them with you. There's certainty, which is safety. Most of us, um, a lot of us actually have to really work through this and heal this piece because a lot of us had very traumatic childhoods and so our sense of safety isn't necessarily there. The next is uncertainty, which is variety. We need variety. One is significance. We want to feel significant to others. Connection, right? This is love, relationships, growth. That's a big one. And contribution. So when I talk to people about meeting these human needs, and we all have them, how are we behaving? And that's the bigger question. How are we attempting to meet these needs? How are you attempting to meet those needs in your life? And there are behaviors, some behaviors are good for us, they're supportive or life affirming, and they're good for others too. That's a really big piece of it. And then there are other behaviors that aren't so life affirming. And one of the behaviors that I talk to a lot with my clients is the behavior where it feels good in the moment. This could be like, I'm feeling emotional, so I'm going to eat something to satisfy this, this emotional state of mind, but then it isn't good for me in the long run. It doesn't serve me or it doesn't serve others. So that behavior is something that we talk a lot about. But what we're looking to do is meet these needs so that they're, the behavior is good for us, it's good for others, and it serves the greater good. So that's what I talk to my clients a lot about, and that's what I wanted to share with you today. So how are you meeting your needs? One of the teachers that I studied under, you know, one of the presuppositions is that behind every action is a positive intention. And when we recognize that we're attempting to meet a need, or we recognize in others that they're attempting to meet a need, but their behavior may not be good for them or good for others, then we can loosen up a little bit and have a little more compassion for those that might be trying to meet those needs. So how are you meeting your needs? What's the behavior that you're using to meet those needs? And if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm here to help. I want to serve. I love this work. I love helping people figure out what's important to them and how they're bringing that value into their life and bringing that value into the lives of others. Again, my name is Lori Soleil with Soleil Creative. Have a great day.